We're here today with Craig Lindsay from Otis Gold Corp. Otis is an Idaho-based gold producer who has had a fascinating year in the news. Craig, how are we doing today? Peter, I'm doing fantastic. I appreciate you having me on today. Where are you today? I'm sitting here in my office in rainy Vancouver. Well, it's sunshiny here in Toronto, and it looks like the sun has been shining on you down in Idaho. Can you give us an overview of the project? Uh, sure. Well, we're, our flagship project is the Kilgore Gold Project. It is located in southeastern Idaho. It's got a 520,000 ounce indicated resource and a 300,000 ounce inferred resource. The indicated resource of 520,000 ounces is at a grade of about 0.6 grams per tonne. Uh, this is a project that we've been developing since 2008. We own 100% interest in this project. It's got a significant upside. In the past uh, year, we've had some really stellar drill results, uh, jaw-dropping re results, frankly, of between 50 and 100 meters uh, grading between 2 and 4 grams per ton. So it's given significant life to the project and some uh, demonstrated some real potential to grow the size and the grade of the the project. The other thing that we've got at uh, Kilgore, uh, there's no royalties on the project, uh, which is a burden for a lot of our competitors. The other thing we have is a low projected strip ratio of about 1.5 to 1. And probably the final thing that really differentiates us from some of the competitors out there uh, is we have some world-class metallurgy. We get between 80 and 85 percent gold recoveries at inch and a half crush. And uh, the Kilgore Gold Project ultimately would be uh, mined as an open pit heap leach uh, uh, gold deposit. So those kind of uh, recoveries at that kind of uh, crush size uh, really can potentially have a strong impact on the economics of this sort of deposit. Well, it sounds like the sun has been shining on you. There's lots of interesting things to follow up with from that answer. Now, the last time you and I sat down was at the mining show. Your drill results had just come out, and we were worried about the feel of the market. At PDAC, it was quiet optimism. What was your take on the market at the time, and how do you think it's changed taking you where you are today? Well, I think between uh, right around uh, from January up to PDAC, there was really a lot of optimism in, in the gold space. A lot of the, uh, the seniors uh, were starting to take a good run. The market was starting to look at the juniors. Many juniors uh, had moved nicely up to and around PDAC. Since that time, gold's taken a bit of a breather. It hasn't pushed through that $1,300 uh, per ounce level. Um, we've had a pullback down closer to $1,200. Again, the, the, we're kind of range bound between $1,200 and, and $1,300. And that's created a bit of a pause in, in, in the gold space. Um, and valuations have come off a little bit since then. That said, medium to, to long term, uh, the space continues to look very compelling from an investor perspective. Um, most people that you would talk to, and you talk to kind of, I expect a lot more people uh, than, than I do, but most people uh, would suggest that um, in the uh, medium term here, we're going to see uh, a strengthening in, in, in the price of gold, and that's certainly going to help uh, companies like ours, um, institutional investors, uh, based on my discussion since PDAC, are starting to come back into the market. They're starting to look more closely at the lower end of the market, that being the exploration and development space that, that we're sitting in. Uh, your background is as a finance person. You've grown, come up through the ranks, paid your dues. You have your battle scars to show. Uh, how is your geology team to support you in your finance efforts? Peter, I'm glad you asked that question. I'm really blessed with a very strong, very well-qualified technical team. It's led by two fellows, Dr. John Carden, PhD geologist, fellow by the name of Mitch Bernardi. Both have over 30 years of gold exploration and development experience in the Western US. Uh, they both have um, deposits to their credit. Uh, John Carden, uh, for example, uh, was the discoverer of something called the lame foot deposit, which became Echo Bay's highest grade, lowest cost um, gold project. Really capable guys have a very intimate understanding and knowledge of the Kilgore project. 
because back in the mid 90s, they worked with a company called Echo Bay. And during that period, Echo Bay owned the Kilgore project. It was actually John and Mitch that uh, ran the development team for Echo Bay out at Kilgore during that time. Does that explain then why the company wound up in Idaho? It's one of the primary reasons, yes. Looking forward to chatting with you again, Craig. Peter, thanks a lot for uh, spending the time with me to appreciate it. Otis Gold Corp, OOO, TSXV. Thanks, Craig.